go to some bookstore and yeah, know some books. Did you guys go to a bookstore together? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And this is your partner, Russ. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what did you see at the bookstore? Did oh, he introduced some, he introduced me some uh, books about my, my major. Oh, okay. Uh, what is your major? Uh, veterinarian. How to say that? Doctor of animal. Oh, veterinarian. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and oh, also some friends with us. Oh, my friends, my Chinese friends. Ah. We spent five hours. At that well, in, in, a, in a coffee shop, you know, we 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 discuss the meaning of the book and oh. the symbolism and the application to American culture. Yeah. Okay, are you planning to go to the zoo together? That's something that we've been talking about since the beginning. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't been able to schedule it. Elephant. <laughs> yeah. How do you say elephant in Chinese? Xiang. Xiang. That's right. Yeah. Say it again. Xiang. Xiang. Okay. Is it yeah, the xiang. Yeah, xiang is also be the word. Yeah. And the reason I remember that is because in chess, there's a piece called the elephant okay. that's called xiang. So it's not your favorite animal, right? No, it is. Oh, okay. Uh, I, All right. But I was able to remember the Chinese name okay. because it, it, there also happens to be a chess piece. Okay. Chinese chess. Oh, interesting. <laughs> experience? I enjoyed my experience in the language exchange program. Uh, I met with my Chinese partner uh, who was learning English and uh, we uh, read some uh, some newspaper articles that he had to, it was ex uh, assigned for class mm -hmm. and helped uh, explain some of the uh, explain some of what it was saying because even though he was able to translate the words word for word and understand what it's saying, you didn't get the meaning behind it. Right. So That's good. I'll try to explain it in another way. He would help me uh, have, we would read through some of the texts in my book mm -hmm. and he would, you know, make sure I'm pronouncing things correctly and then um, try to read without reading the pinging and then... Um, oh, that's hard. Again and again and again. Okay. Good. Good. <laughs> I want to learn Chinese because, well, I took Chinese classes when I was like a little kid, but they're too seriously now. I'm older, you know. I feel like you know Chinese is a language that you know you most more Chinese-speaking people in the world than there are English-speaking people. Okay. And so say something in Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> what else? <laughs> Uh, Do you know the word for elephant? Uh, <laughs> uh, we we try to meet about once a week. Okay. And I had uh, two uh, two Mandarin speaking uh, students, and uh, I was really shy talking to Mandarin to them. But uh, they 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 were really great at um, conversing with me in English, and they were really willing to talk in English because they don't get that. Um, at home, like mm -hmm. they live with the other Mandarin speaking. Even though they don't know English, they don't talk English at home. Yeah, it's like for them. They don't, I mean, they don't know English. They don't talk it, and they just feel like talking Mandarin. So it gives them an opportunity to, you know, to converse in a way that that's really safe and, and relaxing to them. Well, do you think your English got better? Yeah, speaking better. Yeah. 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 How? What do you think? Do you think her English got better? Yes. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> how, what was it like before or what? How did it get better? Uh, maybe I will not have enough, yeah, maybe I won't speak to native speakers. Ah. Yeah, right now I can't speak to anyone even though my English is still not good. Oh, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I have, yeah. That's great. She seems much more confident. Yeah. And, and not afraid to use what she knows. <laughs> Thank you.